Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will learn about route learning. We have five types of learning. The first one is route learning. It is very simple because route learning only deals with by hurting. So, we will see what is route learning. It avoids understanding the inner complexity but focuses on memorizing. So, basically, this method is memorizing and by hurting. So, it doesn't compute the value, it just uh, compute it once and after that it uh, just by heart so memorizes the value so suppose you take uh, 2 factorial so 2 factorial you will do it as 2 into 1 into uh, 2 into 1 and you will get it as 2 now suppose you call uh, you ask for 2 factorial next time so it will have a database which has stored already the 2 factorial is 2, it is already stored in a directory display 2. It will not do any uh, arithmetic logic operation over that. So, that is root learning. So that uh, memorizing the material so that it can be recalled exactly the way it was read. So, this was the input and this was the output. And uh, when it was called next time, recalled next time. It was shown uh, like how it was read. So this is route learning. This is very simple method of learning. In this we have learning by memorization. It avoids inner complexity and focuses on memorizing material so that it can be recalled later from uh, for the same input. Like we have seen over here for two factorial for same input. When we called it once again. Uh -huh. It memorized the value and it just displayed it. Next is learning by repeating. Like in this over and over again method is used. Like again and again. Suppose let's say uh, I'm uh, again and again uh, telling the user to uh, the computer to take input from the user. So it gets used to it. So next time before me asking it will just uh, accept the input accept the interrupt like uh, there is priority interrupt and that higher priority will be given to the one which is uh, repeatedly played so uh, learning by repeating means like how we are learning poems like you know tingle tingle little star right so in that how do you uh, how did you learn that it's by repeating there's no other method uh, which we used over there so suppose let's say another example like suppose i do thousand factorial thousand factorial will take a lot of time to compute and display the value so what i do is i'll calculate the thousand uh, factorial and store it in a variable a and next time uh, I'll again calculate 1000 factorial. Uh, no, say, let's say I calculated 199 factorial and then stored it in another variable B. Then this I'm repeating the, and then I'm asking 1000 factorial, 99 factor, 1000. So what it does is it simply next time when I call this, uh, it will figure it out that uh, 19999 into 998 into 997 etc. will is already stored in P. So instead of repeating it again and again, just multiply P with 1000 and you will get the answer. So this is learning by repeating. So in route learning is basically memorization, nothing but by hurting. What it does it saving knowledge so that it can be used again. Retrieval is the only problem. Because retrieval uh, is like after computing once, it will be stored in the database. So database will consume space. So retrieval is the only problem in that. No repeated communication in friends or query necessary. Like in this, repeated computation is not necessary. And repeated query like uh, we have SQL queries and all that. So repeatedly we don't have to uh, do that. An example for uh, route learning is catching. In catching, what you have is uh, like you are visiting lots of websites. So what it does is it reduces the time uh, to 
reload the website let's say you went to gmail.com and a cookie will be stored in your uh, in your web browser so that next time when you uh, type gmail.com it will be loaded faster so that is cookie and catching is also one example of it and so that's it for this video next four methods we'll learn in the next uh, next coming up videos so please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you